Dutch pagoda ranks top of Honglin Mount. The scenic view of Hectarsten looks very ancient. Going through all rains and shines, Old Rang Vuong Foundation still stands the wear and tear with time. These verses by Dr. Thuong Grin depict the beauty of an ancient pagoda situated on the top of Honglin Mountain, Thien Lok Commune, Kim Lok District, Hectares Tin. Legends of that Honglin used to be called Nganhalo with 99 phoenix-shaped mountains. The site, therefore, not only leaves its fame to history concerning its majestic beauty, that is harmoniously mixed with the sky, mountain and water, but also has legends associated with ancient Lin Sun Pagoda in the land of Hectares 10. court for a pagoda. The king got mad at her and ordered the pagoda burned. Thanks to the help of nuns, Yuthin could escape from danger. Buddha told a white tiger to take her to Viet Thuong, a neighboring country. When she reached Honglin Mountain, she took a rest by Huang Tai and stream and later went to Huang Tich Cave to practice Buddhism. Soon after that, she became a popular for her benevolence. Thanks to her, Trang Vuong could recover. He ordered his men to 
The merit of Euthine made the booty feel so moved. He granted her new eye and hand. After Euthine died, she became Nam Hae Kwon the Ambotet, goddess of compassion. The place where she passed away is called Amphatba, Goddess Temple. Coming here, you can see a statue of a white tiger, the symbol of a deity and a long sun. of the original pagoda remains today. As for court Dr. Tru Chen, he set off to look for Yu Thin when he knew that she became a nun. He reached Hong Lin Mountain in Viet Thu Hong and lived in a cave. Every day, he went tea in search of medicinal herbs to save people. His cave is now called Im Da Ak Su, Herbal Doctor S Temple, and his grave moved to Huang Tich Pagoda. I met nuns in Huang Tich Pagoda when I was small. So I got to know that the pagoda was built a long time ago. The values of historical structures here remain intact today. Legend is it that there were 99 peaks around Huang Pagoda. However, as recorded in Hong King this time, Honglin Mountain Range has 199 peaks and the highest one is Thu Lin, where Huang Tich Pagoda is situated. All pilgrims coming here can feel the compassion of the Goddess of Mercy, and forget all worries in their daily life to remind themselves of the Buddha, and do good things for the community. in Vietnam. As written in Huang Something True Think the Huang Pagoda, the Huang Tich Pagoda in short, in Hanoi is actually only a replica of the one in Honglin Mountain. A Buddhist monk built a Huang Pagoda in Hanoi out of the reign of the Lai Yu Tong King whose era name was Chen Hong.
pagoda's name to Wang Tich. According to the historical document published by the Association of Literature and Fine Arts, Legends and Family Record Books, the king, his wives and concubines went to the Wang Pagoda Festival on the 18th day of the second lunar month. This habit was maintained until the reign of the Tang King under the Wuking Prenlur dynasty. Prenlur had passed by Hector's son then one day and was amazed at its beautiful landscape. He thought that trust in the Buddha was the most important thing. The Wang Tich Pagoda in Yanhong could be moved here to make it convenient for pilgrims. So, Buddhist monks and the king built the second Wang Pagoda Something. As the legend is it, under the King Latrinur dynasty, most royal wives and concubines came from Hongxia region. So, they returned to their homeland by boat to attend Huang Pagodi festival in Honglin Mountain on the 18th day of the second lunar month. Tren Lord decided to build a pagoda with the same name in Hectares Sangbin, Hanoi today, to worship the Goddess of Mercy from afar. That is why there are two pagodas named Wang Tich in Vietnam. Recently, archaeologists examined the patterns and structure of the pagoda and discovered many objects dated back to the Tang and Sui dynasties. Based on the result of their study, they concluded that the Huang Tich pagoda was built at the end of the Lai dynasty and the beginning of the Tran dynasty. Many vestiges carry the imprints of the Tran dynasty. But the director of Hectares Tin Museum Guyan Trison, who has studied about the pagoda for years, the temple of the goddess of mercy, in the most sacred place with typical features of the architecture under the Tran dynasty. Respect for deified people. The Wang Tich Pagoda was called the top scenic site of Hong Chao. The religious complex comes in excellent harmony with the nature. Worshipping Hall, Three Treasures Palace, Ancestral House and varied religious structures. Make it an impressive religious area amid a population of magnificent mountains.
tranquility of an ancient pagoda remains unchanged today. The statues in the pagoda are arranged in the style of Mahayana. Here in the worshipping hall, people can express their wish to escape the cycle of reincarnation and practice morality principles of Buddhism. The states aren't too big to match the modest scale of the pagoda. But this place is the convergence of the past, the present and the future of Buddha with beautiful legends about life and ethics drawing humans closer to the world of honesty. and diversity of the states make the whole palace more sacred. The Wangtich Pagoda has a lot of statues. Apart from statues of Buddha, there are statues of real people. On the right and the left of the hall is said by Professor Tran Lamben, Professor Vukulakam. These statues have the features typical of sculpture of the 17th century. For example, this statue may be the one of a contributor to the pagoda or an official of that time. It is a half man, half Buddha statue shown in different hat and the meditative posture. There are some other statues like this one. I think this statue is of great value because it proves that the pagoda is date back to the 17th century. As said in the legend, this pagoda was built in the Tran dynasty. diversity in the statues of the Wangtich Pagoda is even supposed to be the result of combinations of pagodas. However, the important thing is that each statue contribute to the sanctity of an ancient pagoda amid the forest. Like other pagodas, the Wangtich Pagoda serves the religious demand of people. Which pagoda has a gorgeous beauty. When people come here, their mind is at peace. Huangtich Pagoda was built in the Tran Dynasty. But there are a lot of legends about its origin that depict filial piety. I think that filial piety and reality principles of Buddhism are closely attached to the pagoda. Visitors to the pagoda learn about children's respect for parents and the way to do moral things and better their life. More and more people learn about Buddhism.
the true, the good and the beauty. In modern society, they go to the pagoda to pray for peace, wealth, and admire the beauty of nature in the first month of spring to re-energize themselves. When they have freedom of mind, they can feel secure to work and faster their reality. The atmosphere of a pagoda can teach people about filial piety. So, the number of pagoda goers is on the rise. takes place annually on the 18th day of the second lunar month. The rugged path may be both precarious and challenging for pilgrims. But they brave it out to come here from every corner of the country. Everything happening here is imbued with a spiritual color. It reflects the culture of the region and shows people as gratitude to the goddess of mercy. Legendary and historical, real and unreal. Amid traces of the old days is a scared pagoda in the people as heart.